There's a really cool tracking story that I found out here um, in a field. And there's a bunch of these holes along both sides of the trail. They're really small, no more than two inches across each hole. And some of the holes are plugged like this and this. And one thing that you notice about these holes is that all around them, the grass has been nibbled down. It's all been gnawed off. Let's see if the camera will focus. See how those grasses are cut off right here? Really sharp edges. These little tiny ones too. As well as those. And look at this plant right here. See how it's been nibbled off. So some tiny little animal has been in here working and has been feeding on these things because look at that. That's really fine work right there. So who could do this? Who would plug their burrow with soil? And who would clear around every burrow of grass? Okay, so look inside the hole here. I've got a flashlight stuck here so that you can see way in the hole. And what you see in there is a couple of blades of grass. There's also a scat, which might be hard to see at this angle, but I can't get both the camera lens and the flashlight in there at the same time. Um, but anyway, what you see in there is some blades of grass. That's the food for this animal, which happens to be a small rodent called a vole. Voles tunnel in grass, but they will also make tunnels in the soil like this. And you can see that this tunnel has got some little grasses in there that the vole has stocked uh, for safe eating. Because if he's outside eating the grass, the animal is exposed to predators. So this animal will take grasses and nibble them off and haul them back inside the hole where it's much safer to eat. So it's like a little private dining hall there. So right here, you're looking down a grass tunnel, and in this case I'll use the flashlight to show it down there. This is one of the tunnels in the grass that voles use, and you notice that it's been kept open and maintained open. They do that by gnawing down the plants as they grow along the edges. And in a moment I'll see you show you something that I took out of this hole, but I want to kind of put the camera in there so you can experience life from a vole's perspective. And this tunnel is, again, probably two inches tall, if that. And I can part the grass, and you can see further down the tunnel. And these tunnels go throughout this whole grassland. This is where voles live, and it's where they eat, and how they travel unobserved by the predators, like hawks and other things that might want to catch them. They use these tunnels through the grass. This tunnel has a really well-worn area here in the grass that comes out of it into the open and it goes across this trail and the vole has been scurrying across the trail with no cover but that's what it looks like in his tunnel. Now I'll show you what I pulled out of the tunnel. So I pulled this out of the tunnel to show you up close what it looks like and you can see the end of it has been gnawed off very finely cut and then I'll flip it around and show you the other end of it see where it's also been chewed off so rodents have teeth that they use for gnawing things and this was found inside the tunnel let's get the camera to focus here so it's maybe three or four inches long and it's just a blade of the native grass or rush this is around round thing, so it's probably a rush. Um, and the vole had placed this in the tunnel. And it was the way that it stored food so that it could feed on this whenever it wanted to and still be sheltered within its tunnel in the grass. So that keeps them safe from predators while they're feeding. So pretty smart if you're a small rodent and you're prey for everybody to uh, hide your food in a, in a little grass tunnel so that you are sheltered as you eat your food. So here's a different perspective. You're looking down on the, the two plug tunnels, the open one that we looked in, and here is the one coming out of the grass with the run. 
And if you follow it all the way across, you find another tunnel. And one there, and look here. Another run. So there's a run right through the grass directly across. And notice this one also shows the signs that you saw across the way. All the grass around it has been eaten down, leaving a barren area around the entrance. Same with this one. All around the little tunnel, the grasses have been eaten. Same here. Another one. And one down here that you can see all the grasses have been eaten and the tunnel was plugged. Pretty cool, huh? So, this plug tunnel, the uh, eaten grasses, all the grasses around here having been fed upon and cleared, all these are clues to a vole. And a vole is a small rodent that lives out here in the meadow. Let me show you his habitat. So you can see several of the things that we have examined here. Notice how they stand out. This is the habitat where the vole's living. There's a trail here. And on the other side, over here where I dropped my pack, is the other two plug tunnels. Those tunnels that we looked in and the run. And this is what the entire grassland looks like. So you can imagine that that run continues into the grass, possibly under the log, which would make a really good place for a vole to live, and all through this grass here. Look in here. Another little hidey hole, another little tunnel. So this is all vole habitat, and you don't see them because they're underneath in their little tunnels, and they have stored food in there so that they aren't exposed to those predators that might be up there in the trees, the hawks who hang out up there and just wait for a vole to expose itself. So that's the story of the vole, also called the meadow mouse, um, and you can find them all over. So now that you're familiar with the vole sign, as you're walking along a trail and you see a barren spot like this, or you see a faint run like that, get down here and look. And sure enough, there's a little tunnel going off through the grass, as well as here, where all this vegetation has been clipped back, and possibly some of it is down the hole there, down that run, where the vole can feed on it in safety. There's some clipped off grass right there. So I hope this has been fun and educational and you've learned something about a rodent called the vole today. Thanks for watching.